YouTube I'm back bringing you another video all right this right here is my build my build that I'm going to hit 99 with the best build that's going to hit 99 all right so make sure if you are a guard you're using this 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 archetype this build this is a play sharp all right offensive threat is a play sharp build so if you ever get off offensive threat that just means you picked up the closest build to a play sharp, which is offensive threat, all right? So make sure you choose this build if you want to be a play sharp, all right? Because I was a 99 play sharp in 2K19. Now I'm going to be a 99 play sharp in 2K20. Well, it's not even a... It's not even a play shop, it's an offensive threat. So I'm gonna be a 99 offensive threat. So, so as you guys can see, I'm looking at the attribute. So I could try to get the exact same attribute that I would get on a play sharp or an offensive threat. I need to start saying offensive threat, but it's still a play sharp though. Don't get it right, alright? So there was the play sharp one, alright? The one with the free throw. As you guys can see, I put my speed all the way up, 90 speed. Now I'm gonna cap out everything. And then at the end, I'm gonna take some away so I can see which one I do not need. So I take that down. I take, I put standing all the way up. I put everything all the way up. You know what I'm saying? Trying to get rid of the whole attributes to see what I need to get rid of and what I, what I need and what I don't need. So if you guys want to do this, you guys can. You guys don't have to. I know you, pro you guys are probably like, yo, just hurry up and get to the point. You know what I'm saying? So shout out to my boy Lamosta. He's the one that found out this this build all right this is lamosta's build i picked this build in in 2k20 well he kind of played me he said he was making a 6-7 play sharp but then he ended up making a 6-6 i stuck with the 6-7 and i'm not mad at the 6-7 i love the 6-7 play sharp but this right here is lamosta's archetype build and this is the build that i'm using once again that man is the build plug like he knows every good build in the game so if you need a good build Hit up Lamosta, all right? So as you guys can see, I'm putting everything up. I didn't put a lateral quickness all the way up. I wasn't even peeping it. I wasn't even looking at it. You see it like, oh my God. So right here, I got 10 attributes left. I'm trying to put stuff up. I'm looking at what I need. Driving dunk, I know I don't need because... No, actually, I do need driving dunk. I don't need standing dunk, all right? I think I actually put standing driving dunk on. I don't remember. But look, at as you guys can see right here... I'll, I'm over here doing rebounding. Why am I going to need rebound if I'm a 6'4 play sharp? I do not need rebound. I'm going to be playing with lockdowns or or stretches, all right? So they could get the board, not me. I can't get the board. And if I get the board against you guys, that is sad. If my 6'4 board with no attributes on rebounding, on offense and defense gets a board, that is sad. Sad. As you guys can see, I got two attributes left. I'm over here looking like, yo, where can I put this two attributes at? Like, where can I put it at? I'm looking. I'm looking. I'm like, all right, I'm just going to put two on driving dunk because I really don't need driving dunk. When you're a play shot, bro, you mostly do driving layups. You know, you barely get contact dunks. Now, this body shape, it don't matter. It don't matter. It doesn't affect you. I put compact because it just looks good. It looks like I'm built. Not built, but I'm all right. As you guys can see, I'm 6'4". You know what I'm saying? You don't want to go up. Like, look at what happens when you go up. And minus is a lot. So, it's, it's, not, go it's not good to be over 6'4". Because you won't be able to speed boost. You won't be able to speed boost. Now, my weight, I put it all the way down so I could be fast. Of course, I want to be fast. So, I had to put my weight all the way down. For the wingspan now, you already know what I had to do for the wingspan. I put it all the way down. And look at how it affects my three-pointer when I put it all the way down. I have an 88-3, bro. And an 87, 87 mid range. Look at my ball control, 89. My post move, it don't really matter, though. You know what I'm saying? That, that, that doesn't matter. And then for my takeover... I end up picking sharp. I don't know. The takeover is broken. You know what I'm saying? You can still choose your takeover. I'm picking the sharp takeover, you know? And right here, this is how I get a spot up shooter. And it's going to tell me that I'm an offensive threat. You know what I'm saying? Watch. Just wait. Wait. Hold on. Offensive threat. Kyrie Irving, Stephen Curry, Tony Parker. This is the best play sharp build in the game. Or the closest, you know, the closest build to a play sharp, which is offensive threat. Now my badges, I'm going to show you guys what I did for badges, alright? Catch and shoot. You don't need catch and shoot, but I'm going to pick catch and shoot. Some dribble guys, they don't use catch and shoot because, you know, they barely catch and shoot. But me, I'm going to put catch and shoot silver, you know what I'm saying? Deep range that eye, I'm going to put that, you already know the vibes. Corner specialist, when you ISO, you usually don't, dribble, you don't usually shoot in the corner. So I'm going to keep that bronze. But deep, deep range that eye, bro, you already know I had to put it gold. You know, and I'm looking like, should I leave it gold? Hall, but I end up leaving it Hall of Fame. And then 
you know, Limitless Range, Hall of Fame. I had to put that Hall of Fame. Bronze Difficult Shot because I still fade. You know what I'm saying? And then I'm looking at a Green Machine. This thing looks so good. I'm like, yo, I'm going to put this up. I'm going to put this up. Yeah. I'm looking at Hot Start and I'm like, eh, eh. That's in the beginning of the game. I don't need that Hot Zone Hunter. I don't need that. I'm over here looking. Nah, I don't need Green Machine. Like, yo, it, it was mad hard deciding these badges, bro. And then I was looking at Quick Draw. I was like, eh. Rather have tire Tireless Shooter, Steady Shooter. And I'm still looking like, yo, what do I need? What do I need? I probably should have put quick draw, but I don't believe I need quick draw because, you know, I'll get open for myself. I'm looking at clutch performer. I'm already a clutch performer without the clutch performer. I had to put flexible release. I had to put that, man. And then I'm looking. I'm like, damn, let me just put, you know, catch and shoot to silver. Leave that silver, you know, right there. Now, right here, you know, I had to go with the ankle breaker hall of fame. I'm a dribble god. I need to have that Hall of Fame. Handle for days, Hall of Fame. Quick first step, Hall of Fame. Socket speed boost, unpluckable. Hall of Fame. Tight handles, Hall of Fame. Stop and go, gold. But I noticed, I was like, damn, I need to put that tight handles gold so I can have diamond bronze because for some reason, some people need diamond. I know people need diamond, so I had to get that bronze. Now I'm looking, I'm like, yo, what else can I do? Hmm. What else can I do to make this, this, this playmaking badge work? I'm just looking, you know, dimer. Stop and go, tight handles, unpluckable, Hall of Fame, quick step, Hall of Fame, quick first step, sorry, Hall of Fame, handle for days, Hall of Fame, ankle breaker, Hall of Fame, so I think I'm pretty good on the badges, like, I did good on the badges for this one, if anything, I would have put Dimer Silver, but, you know, Bronze Dimer is enough, all you need is Bronze Dimer, it's Dimer, alright, it's Dimer, you should be able to shoot without Dimer, alright, Clamps, I put gold so I could clamp up, pick and pop, bronze, pick dodger bronze because in 2K17, bro, pick pocket on bronze was OP. So I really didn't think I needed a gold as a guard. I was looking at hot crush, yo. This, I was in a pick, I was debating, but over here, I decided giant slayer, but I was like, nah, let me get fancy footwork because I love doing euro step spin moves. And and I feel like the way Tysina was crafty last year, bro, imagine this year with fancy footwork. This man's going to be so crafty. That man probably put that thing Hall of Fame. I don't even know, bro. Fancy footwork. But, man, he's the best archetype in the game. Make sure you make this. This is the build that I'm using to hit 99. This is my play sharp build. All right, this build right here I'm hitting 99 with. And this is the build that I'm hitting top rep with. All right, thank you guys for watching. And I'm out. Gang.